welcome to another Wednesday vlog and my cafe. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying your coffee. Mm. Mine can be a little warmer. I don't know what happened there. It's kind of cold this morning. Poor, oh, poor chihuahuas. They went outside and my little one was like, her little feet were taking turns being off the ground. So I had to take the potty out and put it by the back door. And now we have a little potty back there so hopefully they they uh, catch on really quick little mister you remember little mister from last time um, he's always right on the key on that one on the ball um, so the other ones hopefully they'll catch on because they're going outside but they don't want it anyway and misty the little little one is just freezing anyway so that's my hey flash potty talk in the first thing in the morning that's great wow okay anyways so it's a little cold and yeah it finally kind of snowed here and blew snow in and that so the dogs are not liking it at all so so much for a brown christmas it's going to be snowy after all anyway um made some these cute postcards you guys seen on instagram i made it on um What's that called? Periscope. Made them on Periscope, and I was watching that Mar Mark Mantano um, make your mark video, and he was doing these vintage flowers on canvas, and I'm like, cute. And I just thought I'd throw it together on a, a piece of watercolor paper like this, and yeah, so I did. And I actually didn't even try it out. I just kind of jumped in and said, okay, I'm gonna Periscope. So that was my first Periscope uh, a couple days ago, I guess it was, and I'm, I think they were only on there for 24 hours, but then I went and joined that Catch Me. It's not on there right now because I did that after someone mentioned it, but next time. Anyway, so I did these cards. They're not really winter scene, but I don't care. You guys are getting them anyway. <laughs> Some of you are getting them anyway. So they're my little postcards, that rendition of his... Um, idea for the canvases and I kind of just tweaked it a little bit made it better no sorry <laughs> and uh, it's very sketchy and really cool like you know I don't know can you see can you see so I already have a few out packed or what you call it ready to go so you guys some of you guys are getting your mail soon here and then I made another one and I don't know what it is about these scenes but they're not wintry or anything so you guys Bear with me. I don't know. Just enjoy them because you're getting them. This one is like, looks like summer skies and birds. <laughs> I think maybe I'm not, it's not even barely winter and I'm already getting, I can't do it. I don't know. Um, I like this. <laughs> so I got a few of these coming on here. This one I did like a, a resist with um, gesso. So I don't know if you can see that in the background. Whoa, if I can actually get into the thing. Can you guys see the Chrissy Crossy? I did it with like a card. I, if you guys could see it, that would be great. I did a resistant, there you go, a resistant gesso. Then I kind of did a acrylic sealer finish on top. I had to read that. Just that, that is why it's shiny. Shiny, shiny. So I did watercolor the background after I did the gesso resistant. It, it was, eh, not like a major resist but it's still kind of cool for the eye I don't know whatever it works for me so I made some of those just playing around for postcards for you guys for just thank you guys for rocking and yeah so for you know I decided to choose the people that were in my collage to just send them out to so I'm sending them out in bunches so yeah you guys will all get there soon and if I miss you excuse me I will try to remember to uh, excuse me um message you guys as I'm posting them out to say hey it's on your on their way but uh, if I miss you for any weird reason just message me don't be shy it'll be awesome because I don't want to miss anyone and yeah you guys are all rock stars you guys all made my day joining in on that collage so and that's how I went this year it's just like all the people that did that you know get a little personal piece from me so anyways that's about that for that I don't even know where I'm going with that I'm just blabbing on now so 
I think I'm going to warm up my coffee. This is really cool. It's actually cooler than my mouth right now, so that's not fun. I'll be back. It's warm. Mmm. Yeah. I should just bring the coffee maker right here. Mmm. <laughs> the RT. There is this cool robot. You guys did see that, right? For the new movie. Oh, I'm sorry. Blah. I just puked it out because I just saw squirrel. Um, this cute little robot thingy, and it's an actual robot. It's a computer. It's the little round one for the. It comes from the new movie. My daughter Sherry pointed it out to me. Oh my goodness, I want it. It's not even very overly expensive for something like that. Like, um, for what it does and how cute it is, and it's like a little remote control robot. So, I am not buying it but one day maybe <laughs> it's so cute it's kind of creeps me out at the same time as how cute it is because then it's like wow there's like this little robot android thing in my house and it's kind of like creeping in you know the uh robot thing that just came to me i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> anyways but I like the idea. At the same time, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. But then I can see how people can all of a sudden just totally miss, like, all the stuff happening. Like, how do I explain this to you? Like, what's that book, 19, what, what, no, was it 1985? Uh, uh, oh, jeez, brains, like, I don't even have that book. I borrowed it off a friend. It was so good. I read it twice. Anyways. Where, like, you know, like, the government kind of is spying on you and blah, 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 whatever kind of thing through the TVs and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. And keeping an eye on everyone and all that kind of stuff. I was just thinking, like, these little robots, I mean, they can see everything that's going on and they can do little holograms through your iPhone or something like that. So, you could, it's so cool, but at the same time, kind of creepy. So, it's like, you can see how these things can kind of, people could trickle, let them into the homes, but they're like, oh, little cute things but then all of a sudden you got these things in your home that can actually record your temperature in the house and all that kind of stuff so what else can they you know they have sensors right so that's kind of creepy but anyway I'm maybe too, I didn't have too much coffee so I can't blame it on that mm. not enough sleep not enough sleep my brain was just like shh. I mean on Facebook in the middle of the night like oh look at this person I haven't seen this person in a long time let's friend them oh wow you know, like crazy. So, if you guys are on Facebook, you've seen um, my craft. Well, you see you guys anywhere. You've seen my little craft like this little tag. And I just wanted to point out that Phoebe, on it's on my wall. She uh, tagged me in it. Did uh, one. Well, she did like six. Like, and they are so cool. They're so excellent. You guys got to check hers out because I so. Love them. If Phoebe, if you would want to make some more and maybe do trade, I wouldn't mind having one. Because, oh my goodness, they are just so pretty. I absolutely love them even better than, a lot better than mine. They're just so pretty. I like the rusticness of them. I like the way she did the, the, uh, in, in, I don't know. Like, you know, I think she scraped it. I'll have to see if she did a video. Like, um, I don't know what she did. But it looks so cute. And the snowflakes on there. And she had little, uh. Uh, snowflakes that are just cute, cute, cute. Look on my wall, my Facebook, and check her out uh, on there. I don't even know what is Phoebe's last name. I am terrible. I don't know where it is, but I guess her package is upstairs. So her envelope. So whatever. I'm not running upstairs. Now I'm being lazy. Unless it, my coffee gets cold. <laughs> I'm not running upstairs. Anyway. But I really love hers. What is that thing called? Sequence. Ginormous snowflake sequence. That's what it is. And they're so, oh, they're so cute. And I love, sorry, there we go. She, I disappeared. I love the, uh, what you did, the little wrapping onto the metal and everything too. It just looks so cute and I love it. Thank you for trying it and showing it and tagging me. Love it when you guys do that. And I get to see other 
people's art and I swear I'm telling you, you guys rock everything I put out there and do it better. I'm not even like joking. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So please continue to tag me and stuff like that because it just makes my day, makes me happy that you guys are sharing it with me. Sometimes I would love to have everything that everybody made. But if you share it with me on my Facebook or something like that, at least I get that and I get to see it. And then like I go back to it and peek at it. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. So thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. Okay. Okay. So I was still working on my collages. I'm so slow. You guys rock that one too because here's my, my latest collage. I Instead of doodling, what I did was I took a palette knife and totally, how do you do this? I need to get lessons from Vanna White here. I'm just, not good at this. Anyways, so what I did was I took the palette knife. Do, do, do. Where's my palette knife? I'm very, I didn't even have enough coffee to be acting this way. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm in a good mood. I had a good couple of days, I think. Well, I started the other day when I periscoped. It really made me happy. And then all the new people I met and then watching them, you know what? It just, if you are feeling down, get involved with, with other people, like artsy people or whatever. Anyways, it's like, made me all happy hyper so I took my palette knife and I just kind of dipped it in my paint and did the doodling with that and I thought that was cool I even did the zigzags up here you can't see I'm not a very good Vanna and and I just kind of played with it so that's just my play with it I also did some modeling paste on tissue paper and I can't do this. And, woo, I really need. I'm going to sit here for practice for hours. This is this project. Anyways, this is uh, modeling paste on tissue paper. And that turned out pretty cool. I did a little, I'm doing some little videos, guys, um, tips and tricks. And I got to have them all set up. I've been recording tons of videos for that. So I have little things here and there that I'm recording for, for you guys. Just because I don't have anything else to do. No, I don't know. Just because I thought it would be really cool to um, rehash some of the little tips and tricks that I have in my videos. And not everyone watches all my videos, but if somebody doesn't have time and they have like 15 minutes sometimes. sometimes I think I'm trying to make it not longer than 15 minutes, but some of them are short, shorter uh, little tips and tricks that you can do for fun little things. Um, then... That would be great if I can help somebody that way. So that's my goal in that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so keep your eyes open for that because that's going to be fun. So for these um, postcards, I think I'm just going to continue doing postcards for now. Um, just to kind of as an icebreaker for my periscopes. Um and I will put them on that catch me thing. I think I know how to do it because I, I, I uh, joined and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also joined Instructables and that's a really cool site. Um, putting some of my stuff up there. So I only got a couple things up there right now, but my new projects I'll be putting up there. Um, so Instructables, check them out. It's pretty cool. Um, basically what you do is you put your videos up and then, um, you just put your steps and what you've done and your tools and all that kind of stuff. It's like writing a blog. And so that's my first try at writing anything because usually um, with a YouTube video, I just kind of like put it out there. My blogs, I just put it on my blog and I don't even write. So it's stretching me to write. So that's why I'm doing it mostly because, well, what a maybe more people see it, but mostly because it's stretching me to do something a little different so to actually blog I admire people who can blog and take the time to do that so that's really cool it makes me think more I'm like ah, oh, okay I have to go step by step and basically everything I say in the video kind of in a short version form making it all kind of grammar -y, you know like punctu like to write spelling all that kind of stuff and so it is kind of stretching me because I'm not used to I'm just used to like blah, talking and not making sense. And you guys are very accepting people. So there you go. I um, don't know what to say now. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking I have that canvas challenge, painting challenge I'm supposed to be doing. And 
um, I said I was going to do, and cheapers, I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to have to wait till after the holidays, though, after, like, into January, because I don't know. For one, my mess, my spa is a mess. The girls, it's just, they've been really into the crafting thing. I think this is the holidays, and they're making everything for everybody, and they're just, like, they are good. They try to keep clean and all that kind of stuff, but they keep forgetting to wash brushes and they have like I have to wash my mat and all my stuff here now and it's like yesterday they were painting pet shops um redoing them like they're they have like Cora has tons of pet shops she loves pet shops she collects pet shops so she had we you know when we go to the secondhand store and pick up bags little bags that they have at Valley Village or whatever for of pet shops so a lot of times she'll have doubles or triples or whatever of things so she just was watching all these tutorials on painting and redoing pet shops and making them look like different characters and that kind of thing and she even added clay to them to make them one look like a sea creature a monkey she turned into a sea creature with little spikes and a like a mermaid tail so it turned out really cute like the bottom half was a tail really cute she's gone upstairs somewhere i'll have to show them and um so she's been playing with that and <laughs> yeah I have a mess at my table, but how can you get mad when they're so cute, as long as they don't get the carpet? Although I have, you know, those moving blankets, I put moving blankets down because brand new carpet, I would not want to destroy it for my landlord and renting, so, um, but they have been really good that way, just the table's been getting kind of, like, messy, and, um, some drippage on the side of my paints a bit, but other than that. But anyways, they've been busy crafting and doing all these sorts of things. Even Cora's made bottle caps, magnets for Christmas gifts, and that kind of thing. And uh, where did she put them? I get they're back here. She's got these little, what are they? Well, here's one, just to show you. She's made. And she's going to put magnets in the back, so she punches out the little bird scenery or whatever paper she likes, and then she puts... Ah! See, I'm not making a very good banana. She makes. She makes these. And so she's working on these. Oh, isn't that cute, though? She's got imagination. So she's going to put little letters in them and that stuff, too, for initials for people that she's giving them to. But anyway, so they have their little projects here, and I don't want to move everything and all that kind of stuff and so I think I'm going to do that challenge in January if I do it sooner it would be better but I think I'm going to try to um, schedule it for then because um, yeah I just with all the Christmas stuff I'm doing this year which is really odd for me because usually I'm like okay I'm done one two three of these things and I'm done but I've been just kind of popping them out this year which is really odd because usually I'm like, oh, I'm done with the whole. People used to call me, like last year, all the years before they're calling me. What's that green guy? Was it green? No. Scrooge? Not Scrooge. The little guy on that hill there. Grinch. That's it. They used to call me the Grinch. Just because, eh, whatever. Anyways, so. But this year I really got into making little ornaments and that kind of thing and sharing. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. So I kind of on the flow until that stops. Yeah. Um, I want to do that. So, yeah. So my next kind of ideas that I'm coming up with, like today I got to make some videos. Yesterday was Kendra's birthday, so I didn't do anything. They just painted pet shops all day, which is like crazy. But they did. That's how many she has. <clears throat> Anyways, for Cora. <clears throat> but Kendra and Cora were just playing with that all day. So um, I'm coming up with the uh, reel soon here. Um, I'll be recording today. Some gift ideas for your friends for the holidays or whatever. So um, that's coming up right here. And I will be making some great gift ideas and yeah, so I thought that'll be kind of like my next step here. Um, just a couple ideas that I want to pop out <clears throat> for my friends. So I'm thinking it would be good to share with you guys. Anyways, I don't know what else to say today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, 
Yeah, I think that's about it. <clears throat> I'm having, I have a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> yeah, that's really attractive. Sorry. <laughs> Edit, I should be editing this. I'm just keep rolling and rolling. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, so I, I've just been having lots of fun with my Instagram and with my Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can check me out on there. Um, I want to kind of build up my Instagram more and stuff like that too. And my Twitter. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to work on that, but, um, yeah. So I want to do some, it may be in January or something after I give all my stuff out here. Cause I got to send all my stuff out here. I sent my giveaways already, or my, my things, but my thank you cards, I want to send all those out. So I'm thinking in January, I want to do, like, start doing um, some kind of thing with my Twitter, no, with my, sorry, Instagram, and um, have a giveaway on there. That would be really, really cool. I think I'm going to go and grab something really cool and, yeah, share it with you guys. So I think that would be cool. Something to look forward to. Anyway, I think I'm going to say goodbye for now, and you guys have a great week. Don't forget to crap like a duck, and yeah, keep strong, lift each other up, and um, check out my um, links to YWAP, uh, ywap.ca, and uh, if you guys are in the area, in my area, YY, is it um, YYC? I don't know how you do it. hashtag YYC, don't know, in the Calgary, Alberta area. You guys can send your girls that are between like 13, I think it was, or 12 to 18, um, to the conference um, for YWAP. It's really cool thing. Um, it's basically just uh, ah, talking now. I'm going to something, um, but really it is cool. It's just you know helping girls um, with so many aspects of their self-esteem and just growing and being strong young women and that kind of thing in the world. And um, with all this media and all that kind of stuff that we're doing too, YouTube and all that kind of stuff, just kind of showing them away and also preparing them for things and that kind of thing and lifting them up. I do workshops, art workshops, and we do inspiring words and that kind of thing for them. And then they have something to put on their wall that they had made and a lot of times these girls, a lot of them, it's their first time actually even picking up a brush or anything like that. So they put it on the wall and they have something inspiring that's kind of like right in their face. And it's really cool. And the girls that have, a few of the girls have been there for a few years now and they just look forward to it, the workshop and to everything else that's going on. So it's a two-day conference. There's like the, the uh, concerts and all that kind of stuff and, and things the first day. The first night, Friday night, and then Saturday, it's like an all-day thing. So it's really, really cool. So check it us out on ywop.ca for that. Um, I don't know. I just decided to, like, do that. But um, it is really cool and uh, inspiring and empowering young women. So it's really, really something that, you know, I enjoy doing. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. See you next week. And, yeah, bye-bye.